Hey guys, it is Sonia coming on live. I cut your head off. <laughs> and Facebook. I cut my head off. That's okay. I think we're adjusted now. Thanks for being here on this cold day. I kid you not. We had an early rise this morning. We were out and about. We had some meetings earlier today here. Me and Matt, we hit the road. And I'm definitely a night owl. Got up early this morning. Who joined in for my, I think it was about noon, I did a live from a fun place that I got to hang out this morning. Go back and check that out if you want some extra behind the scenes footage here at the Junk Monkey. I put this hat on this morning when I got up and I have not taken it off. You cannot make me take it off because at this point, I don't know, I just might wear this till I go to bed tonight because it's freezing and I don't even want to take the hat off my head, okay? You know one of those days where you just feel warm and toasty? Yeah, like just the way you're dressed? Yeah, so anyway, I'm loving my hat today. So hopefully you guys are staying warm wherever you are. It is Sonia and Matt from Junk Monkey, and of course, this is day three that we've been in on this island, this project of fabric paint. So, the whole reason why we're going to do the third step today, we've done it over three parts, first day, second day, me and yesterday, and then today we finish it off, is because a lot of you guys will say, Sonia, I don't want my fabric to be stiff, and so girl, I'm helping you out here. I'm telling you that to do the slow burn journey, okay? Don't race to the finish line. Don't put your paint on at full tilt because we do make a nice chunky concentrated paint, right? What we want you to do is water it down and basically stain your fabric in layers. So at this point, I have put a layer of my half water, half junk monkey on day one. Um, I did the same day two. Now that dried from yesterday and now I'm ready to go ahead and either call it like I want to put one more layer on it or go ahead and seal and finish her off. Now, you guys know that the stool that I've been working on is my doggy stool, okay? I already bought it reupholstered by somebody else who did a homemade job on it, got it at a yard sale for all of $5, and I decided to paint it, right? So it's actually sat right here. This stool, though, is sat in the corner with a fan on the top of it. That's why you see that dent right there, right? So really, I could fluff it up. Honestly, when I'm done today, if I really, really want to make sure that dent's gone, I would just turn it over, put something heavy on it, and let its fabric just flatten itself out, right? All you need to know is I'm doing this to sample to show you guys, so I don't care how bad the reupholstery cover job was on this piece, because it's my doggy stool. Say it with, say it with me, it's my doggy stool, okay? And so they're gonna use this to jump up to hang out with me, okay? Because who else has doggies that like to hang out with you, right? And try to figure out, but they got legs that are this, this long and they can't make it to the bed or to the chair that you're, you know, sitting there reading on and they want to hang out with you. So anyway, when I get this done, I'm going to get to bring this home tonight and uh, my chihuahuas are going to love it, all right? Yeah, they'll probably love it sitting right in front of the fireplace and get warm. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. As I get my uh, tools all set up, Matt, do you want to get some shout outs? Tell them about Banana Bucks and uh, tell me who's with us right now. Okie dokie. Do it. Uh, banana bucks, banana bucks. There's 20 banana bucks for Facebook and 20 banana bucks for YouTube. How you obtain these banana bucks is you share and then you type share underneath so we know what you shared. Yes. So, and then you'll be eligible. And for those watching this morning, no, Steve did not come with us back to the shop. Yes. As far as the metallics, you will be the first ones to yeah. know when they get here. We hope we get a call. Like yeah, just, earlier. just, like, you gotta give us time to have it made. We to get a call even tomorrow. Like, yep. We're so close, we're so close. And so it's like waiting for vacation, you know, I like, you gotta wait for the days to pass because you gotta do the time, right? So anyway, we're so close. No ancestry results yet either. No, I still don't know what I am, alright? <laughs> I'm going with Magical Mermaid Unicorn. Okay, I'll let you know what happens when it comes back. So anyway, so here's guys what I'm gonna do today. So we have stained the fabric at this point. Your choice if you want to do another layer, right? Yes, I will go ahead at this point and repeat the step that I did yesterday to loosen up the fabric. Again, going light with my mixture and then give it a nice brush over to help, like, you know, just get that stiffened fabric to start to move again, right? This is probably what you want. So now if you're doing a chair and you want that not the fabric to be super stiff, you don't have to do this part. It's totally up to you. But I like to get a little polish to that uh, painted part of my fabric. It'll just loosen it up a little bit. But at the end of the day, my, again, it's my doggy stool. So I, uh, I'm not going to get too carried away with it, right? You can sit here and you can polish your fabric and really just shake it all out. Do the hokey pokey, whatever you got to do to get, get it loosened up as much as you want, okay? So likewise, 
this right here dent in the furniture is just because something heavy was sitting on it up to 48 hours ago. So it's just got to go ahead and like work itself out. Okay? If, if I was it's a, finally breathing. If I was a betting man, okay. I if I was a betting man, yeah. I'd say we'd probably get a call Thursday. Yeah. And it'll probably ship Friday or Monday. Oh really? Just to be honest, yeah. Okay. Just knowing how our people work. All right. So this is what we got to do for our top, right? Remember my tip. Wrap off your legs if you do not want your paint to get on your legs. At this point, I'm ready to go ahead and put some color on my legs. And I've decided to go with Mouse in the House, okay? Mouse. I'm going to go with my choppy style paint. House. This stuff, man, seriously, you can have a fun day going bananas with it because it does stick on metal, wood, fake wood, glass, and like I've been showing you, paint it. You can paint fabric with it, right? It will stick on the fabric. So I'm going to stir mine up a little bit. I've got a little bit left in this can here. Remember the tip I always share with you guys. If your paint's been sitting for a bit and you just want to get some movement into it, or for any reason you want to make it more fluid, yes, our paint works well to add a little bit of water, and you can water that sucker down to whatever you want it to be, right? If you're doing a paint pour or something like that, you know, whatever you want it to be. So make sure you remember that tip. A spray bottle is always handy because you're going to be glazing. You're going to be doing stuff like this. You're going to be spritzing your fabric. You know what I'm talking about, right? It's always good to have a water bottle. All right, so I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab the full coverage brush, right? This is the brush that I use to apply my paint onto my fabric. We, I love, basically I like to keep my life simple, okay? If I want super shabby distressed effect, I go with my shabby chip brush. If I want full coverage, meaning that I want to get more paint on when I glide my paintbrush on over my project, I'm going to go with this little guy right here. He is awesome. Both of these are on our website. I love this little guy right here. Wooster makes them. They make amazing brushes. I love the angle cut on it. It helps me cut into pieces, like into areas, really easy. I love how light it is. I love the fact that it has a short handle, and I can, like, pretty much whiz that thing around. It's like driving a compact car versus a giant limousine. You know what I'm saying? And I also love the fact that it's rubber, because if you're like me, I've been painting for 13 plus years, painting all my life, but painting 13 plus years, selling my painted goods to other people out there to enjoy for themselves. And so after a while, what you begin to realize is, you know, if you're painting a lot, there's a lot of swings of your wrist. So you want to go with something light, something ergonomic, and the rubber handle, when it sits up against your hand right here, there is no callus that forms, right? It's a beautiful thing. It's a really a wonderful thing. So I'm going to go ahead and paint these legs with that beautiful, just a, it's kind of like a medium light gray that we have. How pretty is that, right? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right. So you can go shabby distressed if you want. I'm just going to use this to put it on real quick because it gives me some super fast coverage. And this I will, I coverage. will pretend like I didn't even see that little thing there. Linda, Linda, Linda. <laughs> so, and who? All right. Let's go ahead. And the nice thing is that with this brush, it helps you because it's got that angle yes. cut into it. You can. Now I'm painting it's fairly here. nice here tonight. I mean, it was up in the 40s today, so we were like minus temperature this morning, and then we were in. Oh, the it was so cold! It was so cold. It was really winter. It's like you're reminded. Yep, it is really winter because we've been having a really easy winter here in Pennsylvania. At least our part of Pennsylvania, but it is winter, so Mother Nature was like, don't forget. Yeah, don't get too comfortable over there. But it's been good because anybody else like do pellets for heat. It's so funny because when I uh, talk to creative friends who live down south, they're like, what? <laughs> but yes, we burn, we have a stove that burns pellets, wood pellets, like these little condensed wood pieces, and you put them into your stove. Who knows what I'm talking about? And uh, when you do have an easier winter, meaning like a not so cold winter, the cool thing is that you get to save extra money because you don't have to spend literally your money that you will burn, aka wood pellets, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's been a good, it's been a good winter all around, you know? No complaints here. In fact, I see the memes that go around and it says that we are having um, spring in like, what, six weeks or so? Who knows? When are we having spring? Tell me. Somebody out there probably is counting down the days. So I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for yard sales, too. We all know what happens this year. I could do without the yard sales. Really? Yes. Oh, no. You can't that. See, just when I said yard sales, I'm like, 
sales. Yeah, I wanted you're to. Getting, you're like, oh, we got to shut that down right now. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that uh, I made my position known. Okay. I am right. now retired in the furniture hauling business. <laughs> that stuff that's hot in the van, yeah, that's the last of it. That's the last of it. Boys are going to bring that in, then I retire. Okay, all right. We'll let you pick that. Yeah. yeah. So what's everybody up to today? Um, it is day, what, let's see, Tuesday, day two of the normal work week. Is your week off to a good start for you guys? What uh, everybody working on? Would love for you to someday give us a video tour of your house. I'd love to see the projects you've yeah. done for yourself. Yeah, well, you know what? Stay tuned. New make house. Sure, <laughs> yeah, make sure you um, subscribe to our blog because I'm right. going to begin doing home projects over there and sharing it with you guys. And so you're going to want to make sure you're, you are subscribed. And um, what's fun about when you watch us on YouTube is that you can cast it, meaning that you can actually press a button and have it go from your phone to your smart TV. You know, if you got a TV that can do that. Um, or maybe you bought a TV that actually has the YouTube um, app in it. Yeah, the app already into it, which is awesome. So I think it's going to be a great way to keep up. And I'm excited. You guys know that um, before I moved from Canada down That's here, funny. that I was a reporter. So I yeah. love doing a lot of video. I love video. I think video is an amazing way to hang out with people. Yeah. And, um, so, it's funny. Lots more Everybody's all the beautiful furniture. Let me tell you something about our house. I grew up in this house. Yes. My mother and I built this house. Actually, my mother. I was five years old. I was carrying like two things of shingles when I was a kid. So the house is small. It's and a stone cottage house. It's only yeah. It's only a little stone cottage house. It's nothing impressive. You know what? Um, I can't wait for closets. Yeah. But the whole thing of it is, our house is not filled because when you live in a small well, you have, house, you have to go minimal. You, you, yeah, and not only that, sometimes you realize that stuff is stuff, <laughs> you oh, know. Yeah. Well, you know what? I learned that when I moved from Canada to the U.S. Yeah. And um, if you have moved and you put stuff in storage and you go back to look in storage, you're like, why was I even keeping yeah. this? I don't know. So yeah. I will say that definitely be something somebody who's moved countries. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You just look at stuff differently, right? And you also can't jam pack it. You have to like have living space here. So we're excited for what this year will bring. We'll bring you Turkey later. Rube and Rachel. Uh, oh, if you're not keto, get yourself some. I like straight up pumpernickel bread. Not not this world rye pumpernickel and regular rye, yeah. but straight up pumpernickel bread like they used to do at the coffee shop at Seven Springs. Butter. With melted butter with garlic in it, brush the bread, toast it. So do your turkey, do your sauerkraut, throw your uh, all in a grill, throw your Swiss cheese on it. Yeah. And then um, I always like making my own Thousand Island dressing with some dill relish, some mayo, you know, a little bit of ketchup. So uh, like Matt cooks on our vlog as well on YouTube. Yeah. Yep. When we get finished our live stream challenge, basically going live mm. for 30 days, um, teaching you guys a paint, ten paint tutorial, inspiring you, taking your questions for 30 days of free lessons. Lessons right here on our page uh, that you don't have to pay for. Okay? I agree with him wholeheartedly. Storage, in the words of uh, yeah. my husband, storage is a dumpster with a lock on it. It is, right? Yeah. We have a garage filled and we have a coal shed filled yes. of just stuff. That we really don't need. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll be having a big day. <laughs> um, because you think to yourself, when was the last time that I actually went into it and did anything, right? Right. I will definitely say that I'm following the Marie Kondo um, series, and it's just a good reminder, you know? I was watching one where this guy was really attached. I forget what one it was, because I'm going through the whole thing on Netflix. Anybody else <laughs> watching with me? But I was going through the... Um, this channel this week in one of the episodes, she just asked him, like, you know, he wanted to hang on to the mailbox on his house, even though he has a new mailbox. He was emotionally attached. And she's like, you know, does it bring you joy? And he's like, well, yeah, because, you know, it was, it just meant a good thing for us. We got a new house. But she's like, is this something that you want to keep forever? And, you know, you want to take with you for the rest of your life? And you're like, he's like, not really. And he's like, you're right, it's got to go. You know, serve its purpose, say thank you, pass it on. But yeah. So, tis the year to simplify for us. You know. 
And we used to have a building that was 7,000 square foot. So if you can imagine, a lot of you little people really made out when we uh, when we moved. Because uh, you got to the point. We gave away. We gave up. Well, listen, we started to the point where when we made the move and we transitioned to a smaller um, storefront, um, which was what we wanted to do, we moved. But you don't realize it's like it's like a woman's purse. The more space you have, the more you keep filling it. So I had so much stuff in the basement, everywhere throughout the building. And then it couldn't all come, but when you first start like going through it, you want to keep it all. And by the end of it, you're like, put it up by the curb. Don't care. Just get it out of my sight. So anyway, I got to go get the beginnings of that pile out of my garage, you know? Stuff that, um, yeah, just needs to go on. It just needs to move on at this point. I'm going to distress my legs just a little bit because um, I love to stress. Is Marie Kondo on Netflix? Yes. Yeah, 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 that's where she's Can at. Did you say she just got her... Uh, well. Yeah. Did you just read that somewhere? Yes. Yeah. Guys, what do you think of the um I just find it funny because it's every distressed every mama song we ever had in the Marine Corps. Every what? Mama song we had in the Marine Corps. Uh huh. The uh the older Japanese ladies that actually had a room in the barracks and you paid them twenty bucks and they cooked all your meals and pressed oh, all your clothes. Yep. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, yeah. So you're yeah. saying it reminds you? Yeah. So, then, yeah, you're supposed to clean your own room, but you pay her extra when you'd want to go out Thursday night on field day night. So, anyways, you thought you were being slick, but so it's like doing your homework. You thought you were being slick, but as soon as the first sergeant came in there and says, looks at it and goes, oh, oh, I see Mama saw was here. Oh, guess who has duty this weekend? Nice. Mr. Hey. Slick Guy. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, in a moment, seal those legs. Remember, I do a brush over. I'm just continuing with my brush over that I started. Mm. What are you doing, Matt? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Donnie, it just hit me. It just hit me. It always hits Matt. It just hit me. When I go live. He always likes to give a big yawn. And this is the time where I go. Right. What are you doing? Yep. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. So does the dog sleep on this? No. he. Yeah. He he's passed away. He used to use it to this get. This was dumpies. Yeah, he yeah. used to use it to get up onto the bed. Yes, and so now what I'm going to do is move it to a different place for our two chihuahuas, which is in front of the fireplace, mm. and they sit right here because you know what the heat blows out, and so right now what are they sitting at right now? You propped up like a container for keep you. We have one dog that she thinks she's a junkyard dog. Yeah. Always got to be <laughs> on top of something. You guys yeah. have an animal like that, like. I don't know if she barking, she's barking, barking, yeah, and she's all of this. She's all of this yes. big. Yeah, she's yes. just a little, a little tiny, tiny thing. Right? Yeah. But um, she likes to be in high places, and so I'm redoing the yes, piece. Yes, Donna. Bring it home, giving it back to my dogs again, um, and but I'm giving it a new lease on life. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. So I'm anyway, sure. yeah. So this is so honestly, we've had this our put dog in the names and had our fan, a really heavy fan, this past summer on here. So that's why you see the dent, and it hasn't had a chance. I just took the fan off it, like, literally within 48 hours ago. So when I'm done with this, I can turn it over. If I really wanted to get rid of that dent, honestly, all I've got to do, isn't that nice, is to turn it over and just let it work itself out. Big deal, right? It's my and dog. you can sealer. scotch guard it. Yes, we're going to talk about sealer in just a second, okay? But first, I'm going to go ahead and I want to do some decorating on here. The our dog's names are Tiki and Oreo, yes. and Duffy was our dog that just passed. Was our rescue dog. Yeah, that we sat there and named off a thousand names until he reacted to something, and that became his name. What happens when you find a senior dog that is down on his luck, and as if you don't stop by the side of the road and save him, that he's probably not going to make it? And then, um, yeah, you, you pay literally thousands of dollars in vet bills because he's such a beautiful dog, and you can't bring yourself because you can't find his home to give him to a shelter, so you end up keeping him. That Duff man lived like the best years of his life the last few years uh, living with us. No, no, Tony. Holly was replying to me yawning. That wasn't that wasn't an insult. She was just replying. I was yawning. Sonia said yawn, and then she said yawn. She would just um, she was joking. We hope she is anyhow. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, I'll just stop up there. I'm gonna go ahead and put a fun stencil on here, guys. So when I do a stencil on fabric, you guys know, I tell you all the time, we do not make watery paint. Let me just tell you that. I designed this paint with Matt to behave the way I want it to act, which means 
when I do stencils, because I'm so lasagna, you know, I love it, then I don't want my stencils to mess up. I want to do anything in my power to eliminate what's called bleed throughs. And that is where your paint's so runny that it goes under and just, it doesn't keep the design, right? So I'm going to use our paint at full strength. Remember the chalky style paint sticks to anything pretty much under the sun. So that painted fabric, yes, it's going to stick down watered halfway, and it's also going to stick on at full force. I'm just going to throw this on the side here. Oh my gosh. Michelle said needs a paw print stencil. You know what? I was thinking about that. I don't have any paw prints. I'm going to have How paw. can you not, your stencil, Sonia, how can you I'm not have any? I might have one. Maybe a bow or something. Will be cute. But you know what? Um, yeah, they're both girls. So they can appreciate a flower. Right? And they know that their fur mom loves shabby flowers and florals and pretty things. And so I think that they can appreciate this as well, right? Yeah, our cat's bigger than both of our dogs put together, so. Yes, we have yes. a Mancoon cat, Stan. Mancoon. Mancoon? Main. Mancoon? Like the state. Man yeah, it's a Mancoon. Mancoon. Matt's a man coon. Cat's a man coon. Just for clarification purposes there. Um, so yeah, if you follow in our blog, I'm telling you guys, once in a while you'll see our animals. Because we've shot some footage in our, um, you know, remember the pickle tree this summer we did? Right. We actually have a pickle tree. Go back and watch that on the blog, all right? Are you ready? So I'm going to go with this light gray called Mouse in a House that I put on the base to also put on my stool as well, okay? So I thought about doing white. But remember, if I do, and this is my thought, I'm kind of making it a little bit more cozy. I also know that I'm dealing with dogs, okay? Dogs are messy little creatures. And so I didn't want to go with a complete vibrant white. Instead, I went with the uh, mouse in the house gray, which warms it up, right? So it yeah, just nice. gives a little bit of color. Careful, this part is still wet. Yeah, I'm trying to get these. Yeah, for the fuzzies, well, let me dry them. No, it was the, uh, the brush. I heard it oh, brush. oh, oh. A so brush let's brush. Try this real quick. How fun is this, guys? So yes, you can paint fabric with our paint, absolutely. You can put whatever stencil you want on it. I am a fan of the hard plastic stencils. I use a lot in my life, and I'm not somebody who wants to pay a fortune for some of the stencils that are out there because I'm a girl who likes to find thrift things, be thrifty, and find junk pieces for free. Like I said, this ottoman for five bucks. So I'm not going to pay $30 for a stencil. Instead, I'm probably going to pay between $2.99 and $5.99, maybe $7.99, top end of my budget. <laughs> and I'm going to store them and use them over and over again. And I'm not even going to wash them because, you know what? I'm not a high maintenance girl, and I just like to be able to put my stencils back into my book. The fabric and use it again. has a little stiffness to it, but the more you work it with the brush, the softer yeah, it gets. And the more it's around, it gets soft. Yeah. You know, that's like the chair. You see the blue, the blue chair behind something. You can't. Yeah. Um, that one I sit in all the time, and it's just like really, really soft. Yeah. Listen, guys, if you're at the point of I don't know what to do with it, should I? I don't know what to do with it. Should I throw it out? I had a lady who messaged me this morning. Should I throw it out? Yeah. Okay. Or should I? Should I wonder if I should paint it? Girl, you've got nothing to lose, okay? If you're about ready to throw your chair out and you know that you don't you don't think you have any options, like put some paint on it and then if you love it, you love it, right? It's a win-win situation. This is a distress mark. Yes, these are distress marks, yep. That's not a people. So people. when my little dogs with their legs that are about this tall <laughs> <laughs> are trying to get up on it, I don't care, Chevy Chic Man! It just mm -hmm. is so easy to work with, right? So now this is, I'm gonna let this finish setting up and drying. Ask me if I'm going to wash my stencil. I think I already told you the answer. I am not. And for those of you who are new, I have to tell you that if you are somebody who's looking to paint furniture for yourself and you want to do this and you really want to get into this as a hobby or for a business, and I have a coaching group if anybody wants to be coached on that. Yes, you can. Take it from hobby to business. What you have to do is go over to jumpmonkeypaint.com, click Coach and Create Club. There's a section for stencils as well. But there's also a section called Sonia's Favorite Things. And that's where you're going to find this amazing art portfolio that I hold all my stencils into, okay? So when this dries, it goes into here. I started the process of decorating this cover. we got to finish it up together. We definitely got to do that, okay? So yes, you can paint microfiber, but it's not going to feel like the microfiber after it. Yeah. Leather, be painted with your that's project. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Same sort of thing. You're staining, your, staining it, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't recommend you put it on full force if you're trying to decrease 
the stiffness of your fabric, put a light layer on it, half water, half paint, and then do the shimmy of your fabric to loosen it up. Day two, come back, put on your second coat, same thing. Paint half strength, water down by half, let that dry like we did today, come back, do a brush over to the amount that you love it to get your fabric shaken and moving again. We all know what it's like when you got stiff jeans. And until you break them in again and the fibers start moving, that's when they get comfortable and they get broken in, right? Okay. So when you're first putting on a product onto your fabric, this is why I do this part, to get it kind of moving again, right? Sometimes you're recovering chair tops where you just wanted to lay as stiff and flat as possible. You don't even have to do this part, right? You just do your two coats and then you decorate it, you paint the frame around it, whatever you're doing, and then get to this point. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a little bit of monkey shine. I could do monkey shine, which is a sealer, it's our sealer, of course, or you could also do um, the banana peel poly, whatever floats to your boat. Scotch guard. I'm gonna get to the next step in just a second here, and I'll show you how I'm gonna seal. So it sounds like people are asking, how do you seal? Is that why you're saying that? I'm just saying, for the fabric. Well, give me a second. I'll show you exactly what I'm using. Okay, we'll take it one step at a time here. So let's go ahead and finish off. I am an impatient individual. You should know that. All right. But I got to break it down in steps because I know what happens. You guys get confused. So bear uh, with me. All right. Bear with me. All right. Let's just go ahead and put some uh, monkey shine. It basically preserves, protects um, your wood. It's awesome to especially use over wood because it sucks in and it nourishes it. I love it. It's all natural. All right. Now what I'm going to do is grab my buffing cloth, which is my tightly woven fabric that I use to buff with. And this is the best thing I have found out there to use. Much better than um, just other pieces of fabric. Because this is actually made in the crafting world for projects just like this. For picking up any excess of the um, oil wax finish that will be left on the top. At the end of the day, you want your monkey shine to be in your wood and this buff the top surface till it's nice and feels dry to your fingers. All right, that was easy. Okay, now to seal. I'm gonna grab a, before I get to the last part, do you want to talk to anybody? Is there any questions real quick? Well, I take a short I don't wanna to talk to anybody. All right. I guess he really doesn't want to talk to anybody. Done. <clears throat> All right. I'm going home and going to bed, though. Okay. So, uh, now what I'm going to do is do the very last thing that hey I have Hey, Gaylene. Make some dry goods. Matt's hungry. I've been hungry for a month. <laughs> it's his no, you haven't missed there. out on the metallic. So you guys will be the first to know. What did I do with my, my, my stuff? Did I leave it at the top of the stairs? Okay, you're going to have to hold me over for a second while I run to the top of the stairs to get the product that I just dug out to show you, the one that I always go to, and they go, oh, there it is. Oh, my goodness. Yay! Aren't you happy? Now yes, I am. Talk, okay? Yeah, I had to talk. So and I'm running out of gas. This is my favorite pro uh, product by all <laughs> time, okay? I've used a lot of stuff, all right? This is Scotchgard, but look for it at Walmart. We pretty much all have a Walmart around us. And do you see what it's for? Fabric Crafts Protector, okay? This is the version of Scotchgard that I love. You can see, it's got a picture of embroidery, a scarf, a bag, a quilt. This is gonna be perfect for this project. Do you know how much Scotchgard I used in the Marine Corps? Really? I can only imagine on we, your uh, we used, uniform? On our ribbons. Oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah, we used Scotchgard there ribbons. There you go, maybe you should teach this part then. Yeah. So this right here, it says it won't change the look the feel or the breathability of fabrics when it's used. So it's not going to change. When you get your fabric and you get it painted and you've done the wiggle with the brush, you know what I'm talking about, to loosen it up and you're hey, happy Rick. with it, just know that when you add your Scotch Guard, it's not going to stiffen your fabric back off, okay? It says it repels, protect, protect against spills, and um, anyway, it's really easy and it's odorless once it's applied. I, right? I want to say something right now that yeah. yes, we used it for the ribbon, but that's a big fat lie. It does guard against spills. Well, it, you might have used a different version. Except, so. for, except for whiskey. If you oh, spill whiskey God. on it, okay. it's going to stain. All right, and I won't even ask <laughs> how you know. Okay? I don't think deco mesh will work because deco mesh is actually plastic. Okay. 
All right, so I, this is what I would do. Now, listen, people, I'm, I'm happy at, I'm happy in life in general, okay? <laughs> I, until I'm, she, I'm high on life until anymore, she right? has to deal with yes, me. You know me, right? Yes. But what I don't want to do is spray this without opening my door. And there's a reason why I'm wearing a hat. It's because it ain't that warm here, okay? So what I would do is open my door, put this outside of my landing. This is the last place that I did this. One second, I'll show them real quick. And you can have it back. Um, but I do this outside, okay? So what you're supposed to do, I feel like a can of this cost me about maybe like $7. It was eight bucks. Was it? Was eight Can you bucks, remember? Yeah. Seven ninety nine. All right, there you go. Matt's got, got the memory of an ox. Yeah. All right, so what you do is you shake your can, all right? You're just <laughs> like Polly. Don't mm. blob it on, meaning that, you know what, go with light coats. Two light coats, much like Polly, is going to be better than one heavy one, right? So you're going to hold your can upright, and you're going to spray about like six inches or so from your piece. You don't want to be right upon it. And if you're back too far, then you know what? The mist might never even land on your piece, okay? So you're going to go ahead and you're going to spray all over. I'll do a little bit of the spray so you can kind of see. You might even see the difference in the camera or in person. I know when I spray this, I can actually see it when you're first can to see what you've sealed and what you haven't, okay? Yeah. Leather is basically the cane. you see that right there? Do you see how it darkens it right there? Yep. Okay, good. I don't want to spray too much because right. you were supposed to do this in like really good ventilation. And I don't like breathing in, um, in chemicals like that, right? So you guys know, okay? So Scotch Guard Fountain Ah, Fountain that's Protector. funny. That's funny. You can have this back in the video. No. Okay. I was going to spray it anyways. So, right, no, the leather, the leather thing is basically the same concept. Same concept. Yeah. You got it. So I'm guessing she has a piece of... There's Some a lot of people asking leather. about the leather. Yes, go for it. They want to know about the leather. What do you want to know? It's the same process. I'm just going to open my door. Maybe we'll there. find some... <laughs> what you don't see off camera right now. <laughs> fighting with the door? Yes. Yes. That's pretty funny stuff. What part? You fighting with the door. Okay. All right. I'm yeah. Just so work. there you, you know go. What I'm saying? So, so yes. Anyway, yeah. So just uh, bathe, bathe in, bathe in the radiance of the. Yes, it's yes. stinky. That's why I like to do yes. it outside. Yes. Yeah. There you but go. anyway, I have done everything with it. How do you get paint off leather? I don't know. How I don't do you know. Get paint off leather. <laughs> what? I, it was a question. If it's jump monkey, it's gonna stick. So you better like get it off fast, girl. You better get it off fast. I'm not girl. I'm guy. Well, you don't paint next or you cover it over you think about that you paint next to it because if you're using our products they are meant to grab a hold right if you're using the chalky style paint and it's going on your fabric this is why i say no it's not going to fall off it's not going to we, rub off we never it grabs a hold yeah, right we never had uh we never had that issue before no, so, ever well listen did we it then becomes your <laughs> paint lounge area chair ottoman okay all right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, know, I splattered it. <laughs> I'm going to put paint on things, and so maybe go on uh, Google or YouTube and see what you can find with that. Maybe there's some of our video bunch friends who's had that. But I will tell you that when I paint, um, I always have Lysol wipes. And it don't have to be that name, but it's always like the off-brand. Because if you're painting something and you get paint on the floor, that's why I'm not worried. Because if I get to it like within the 30 seconds to a minute, I have a chance to get it off before it starts to set up and grab, which is what you want paint to do is grab, right? Goo gone. So, yep, yeah, that's a good lay down one. Yeah, tarps, um, goo, you can try goo be gone. You know, that has oils in it, too. So it's, you, gotta, you just kind of got to test it, That right? one's like orange oil and yeah. stuff like that. But hopefully yeah. it's not... Um, oh, Lynn Chalk's checking in from Scotland, just in time for the Scotch Guard. Nice. Check yes. Out. Yeah, there you go. Hi, Lynn. Oh <laughs> She's probably right. like, what? Yeah. Girl. Yeah. Right, we're just happy Boy, you ready. just walked into it. You just walked into thanks it. For, uh, yeah, thanks for all thanks all for coming in. Um, okay, uh, you want to go ahead and do some banana books real quick? Sure. All right, Matt's gonna holler at a name. Ooh. Facebook right. banana books winner. I'm yeah, ready Facebook tonight. Today. Yes. Okay, is that what you were doing? Yes. Matt's on it. Okay, go for it. Yep. Barbara Trusty off of Facebook. Barbara, come on down. All right, actually, just email me, girl, at jumpmonkeypaint.gmail.com. Yes. Winner, winner, the subject line before midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time. Otherwise, this offer expires. All right, you too. And Hannah Keller, not Helen Keller, Hannah Keller on YouTube. Very nice. All right, ladies, you know what you got to do. I'll say this second time. Email me at jugmonkeypaint at gmail.com before midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time. Put winner, winner in the subject line. 
and then I will go ahead and see you in my inbox, and I will respond back to you with a super secret code that you can use at jumpmonkeypaint.com. All right, and go get yourself something nice. Free so anyway, yeah. yeah. Well, what I'm going to do is, yeah, this is a cold. I got my hat on. What I'm going to do is actually uh, spray this. You know, when we leave here at the shop, there's nobody else in here. So I could actually spray this down, and when I lock up tonight, everything will just kind of disappear. All the vapors will settle, and it'll be fine tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow, I'll take this home for my doggies to enjoy, and um, it's, you know, for them to continue to enjoy. So my $5 thrift store find just got a whole new lease on life. And you guys got to see a tutorial, right? Yeah, Hannah, I almost said it. That's why I said it like that, to stop myself from saying it. Oh. She mm -hmm. said she's been called Helen many times oh, really? by accident. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Do you have any questions before I take off? Now's a great time to ask questions when I'm going live. I've um, got a lot of teachers in the room. So, Matt sees anybody, holler out real quick. Otherwise, we are going to mosey on We'll see you tomorrow. Yes. I got some v I got some movie to f finish shooting tomorrow, and we'll be back tomorrow night. Yep, absolutely. So, and we'll start a whole new project. Yep. So who knows what we'll get into tomorrow? I'm gonna look on my travels and find a uh, nice piece of furniture that we can paint together tomorrow. Give you guys some good and ideas. if you guys yeah. didn't get to see the video live video from uh, the Savini School, go so check it out. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Yep. we're all creative in different ways. Yep. It's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. We're signing off. All See right. ya. You guys take care. All right. Bye. Bye.